going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about video editing tips that make a big difference to your edits. Basically just running through a few different points um, that if you pretty much just put a little bit of time into these points, they're going to make a massive difference to your edit. I can't even lie. Very simple stuff as well. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, so first off, starting with an extremely basic one, I'm just going to show you how a normal title could turn into a more kind of a outlined, a more amplified title. Basically just how you would go about uh, just, just kind of making your text actually stand out a little bit more. So for example, um, if we were to just put a title here, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and type Jack, you know what I mean? That's, that's my name, screw it. I can't think of what else to write. I'm just gonna write my name. Put it in Gotham Bold, I like Gotham Bold, that's a nice font. Then just go ahead and pop that in the middle. You see, obviously, um, the background is in great quality and the text is in great quality as well, resulting in um, kind of like a weird effect here, or not effect here, just, just a weird scenario here where even though everything's in focus, you can't even really focus on the text, or you can, but you're also seeing the background. It's kind of just a bit of a mess. Um, you want the text to pop out a little bit more, but obviously you don't want to uh, fuck with the background too much as well. Here's a couple basic things you can do. Number one, um, before actually even using any effects, you could actually just go over here to the opacity, obviously take off the um, keyframes, and just go ahead and put that down a little bit. Right, so instantly, even if we've just dropped the opacity a little bit from 100 down to about 70, right, it still does look like um, it's still in full opacity. You can still see everything. However, already that text is starting to pop out a little bit more than it was before when it was even way up there. You see, boom, instantly. Now, um, alternatively, you could also put the opacity back up and just go ahead and go down to your effects, right? And um, just go ahead and type in Gaussian Blur. Gaussian Blur, I, I don't know how to pronounce that by the way. It's Gaussian or Gaussian or pff, who knows? Gaussian, I'm just gonna call it Gaussian. So I got the Gaussian Blur. <laughs> you can pop that on there. Um, and then basically just obviously standard, you know what I mean? Just tone that up a little bit, but Gaussian Blur can can be a little bit much. So just if you even if you pop that on 20, and I believe if you press repeat edges, yeah, that just gets rid of this kind of, um, shit there, you know what I mean? You see the kind of shadow starts building, um, the drop shadow around the outline, outside, you put the repeat edge pixels, and then it just gets a little bit blurrier, and you could even just go on to like a five, right? Because then the five with that off, um, or you know, even like a 10 or something like that, like a slight blur, so you can still see some stuff going on in the background, but of course, the text is there. Also, again, alternatively, you could get rid of that. And another way to actually mess around with the text to make it stand out more is the blending mode. You could go to the blending mode and you could put it on overlay. That is, um, w would need to be much bigger, you know what I mean, to actually stand out. So maybe if your text was kind of like that. So really do just mess around with your text until something looks, looks kind of cool. That's just a way of making it stand out a little bit more. But boom, I think that's all right for the text standing out. Um, now moving on, um, a lot of edits. Um, you've seen it recently in my stuff when I'm what, what, what I'm trying to put references on screen for everything. So um, you know what I mean. If I'm talking about something I'm, uh, and I don't have any video for it, I'll put a picture. So this is actually how you would go about um, kind of just making a picture not look so terrible. If you if you really do have to um, throw it into your edit, let me just actually just get a picture off Google Images quick, right? That is going to kind of be similar to this footage right here. Boom, let's go ahead and just drag this in. So hypothetically speaking, say you have to put a picture in your edit, boom, obviously that just comes up and is not looking too good. Um, obviously, you, you, well, first off, 100%, you'd have it fill the entire screen, but alternatively, right, you wouldn't just want a single frame that's not even moving just to come into your edit. You know, say you were talking or something like that over it, you might be uh, doing a voiceover, whatever, and it changes from the video to the picture. A very, very simple way of making a simple picture just seem a little bit more lively and fit into the edit a little bit more is simply by going to the beginning, right, creating a keyframe, and um, actually dragging that keyframe all the way to the end, right? So it will end on the full frame, and then maybe with the scale right here, just putting it in to, uh, you know what I mean, a, just, just a little bit in, 
All right, so now instantly that's gonna start zooming out a little bit. Now you could do it a little bit more, you could do it a little bit less, pretty much depending on the amount of the effect you want to um, actually be taking place. Now also, another thing that makes these a little bit smoother is you can actually right click and go to ease out at the end of that, right click this guy and go to ease in. So nice and easy. It's much smoother now and boom it eases out really nicely and actually look how look how well that works right there didn't even plan that it comes out and then it comes back to the footage down here and the footage is zooming out as well so that was accidental but that right there is a very very easy way very nice way as well to make your uh, images your still in images seem just a little bit more moving and much nicer so that really does fit quite well into the scene i think this particular uh, next subtle effect is literally just for again hypothetically say you did want to put a voiceover here and you know what i mean it, it went from some b-roll with, 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 with the title that says jack which just looks stupid now to be fair um <laughs> and then you go to this say you wanted to put a voiceover here that is very simple. There's a couple ways to do it, but honestly, the quickest, simplest way to do this is just to keyframe the actual um, levels of the volume. So for example, if we put a keyframe here um, and then skipped a little bit in, you see how that already moves that. And then we just duck the levels down to like minus 25 or something like that, right? Now instantly, um, the volume of this, this here is going to go down right it is going to go down and then you could have a voice over there of course super super simple sorry i've just been messing with that for a sec so as you see obviously if we wanted to make the voice over here this is playing with the terrible title jack and then boom it, it obviously goes down and then it's just me talking underneath right that right there like i said it is uh it kind of depends on what sort of edit you're doing whether or not this will be a uh, will be useful, but 100% it's extremely useful for anybody trying to put together any kind of um, bigger, maybe film kind of pieces or documentary kind of pieces or anything like that. Obviously, very, very simple effect. Moving on to the next effect. Now, I've actually just had to quickly download some more stock footage to actually demonstrate this effect on. Now, this particular image right here is actually that of, oh, let me see. Yeah, that's way in, shit. Hold tight 50 on that. This right here is of some roses or some, honestly, I'm not a big flower guy, I don't really know, but some flowers basically getting watered, all right, or getting rained on, whatever. So this right, this next concept or this next little effect is going to be called sound design. Sound design is very, very cool if perhaps you don't have the best or most high quality audio. So for example, actually, I'm just going to grab the video only, delete the audio, and now we actually just have um, hypothetically a clip that you recorded, but you guys didn't get good audio on. This is why sound design is so important, okay? So for example, if we just had this clip right here, we wanna bring it to life a little bit more. We, we, you know, we want it to make it feel a little bit more immersive, like it's actually real. Also, like we filmed all the sound and the video and everything like that together. So an easy way to do that is to simply go to uh, YouTube or wherever you wanna get your sound effects from. Personally, I just typed in water pouring sound effect. That doesn't sound too good. Rain, rain pouring sound effect. Again, basically just have a look which one's good. Personally, I usually use this place called uh, Tucon V. Um, this is basically just, just a converter to actually convert a YouTube video into an MP3. Super simple. Once you actually do that, you will have just an MP3 file of this sound effect basically right here. And uh, that honestly won't take too long, even if you've got bad internet, look how quick, you know what I mean? That, that literally just happened there. Boom, go ahead and drag that into Premiere. And here, once we actually adjust it, it will appear, boom, just like that. Very, very simple. And because this is a still image here, we could even have the scale, boom, 50, 75. Oh, that's a little bit intense. 70 um, and then also go ahead and just right click the end and ease that out boom now that's gonna sound like it's raining and it's gonna nice and gradually ease out lovely absolutely super nice and uh, very effective as well sound design is super important like for most feature films and everything like that they literally design every single thing that you hear inside of the film all of that is done in post-production because if you think about it realistically 
they would have to have so many mics set up in so many different positions. They couldn't capture all this. All, like the majority of the sound in a film is all um, what's called synthetic. They just put that in afterwards. Um, so that really brews down to sound design. Anyways, moving on, a super nice and easy final effect to show you guys is the vignette or the uh, vignette or something like that. All these weird words honestly confuse me, but I, just, I, I don't know. At least I'm not trying to be an English teacher or something like that, trying to pronounce anything correct. So what you want to do is go ahead and go over to color. On a nice simple image like this, you see obviously, um, say we want to focus more in on the flowers, right? I know it's not hard to focus in on the flowers right now. They're the only thing in the image, but let's say we want to focus um, and bring the focus a little bit more towards the flowers. We would go down to this section here called the Vig Net. And the Vig Net is actually a little bit tweaky, okay? Because when you start pushing the amount up, that is bringing in kind of like a heavenly glow towards your plant. That's kind of cool, but the one that I like is the opposite way. You see, if we push the amount to the minus three and really just start messing with the midpoints and stuff, we can actually force kind of like a focus in on the object that we're trying to pull focus onto. Obviously, all the way is just gross, it doesn't look nice, and you're kind of just a little bit confused. And it's really just about messing around with these amounts until you've actually got a nice big net around the outside. Obviously, just pulling in focus towards the, um, the focal point of your shot, and also kind of just burning the edges a little bit, making them a little bit more rounded off. Very, very nice. Obviously, that is the image without, that is the image with. Definitely drawing your attention much closer into the image. And pretty much that concludes the fifth and final miniature little effect that can show you guys that can definitely improve your edits. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. I've been Jack Chris, Jack Cole. For more video production themed videos, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to upload every single day. I've been going on a streak for about a month now. I'm gonna try to keep going as long as I can. Leave me a comment down below telling me that you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.